Hey guys, in this video, I'm trying to explain uh, what exactly Amazon is. Uh, one of the newly introduced services called uh, AWS uh, Global Accelerator. So under network and content delivery, you can find this global accelerator service. So basically, this global accelerator service supports a couple of services like uh, EC2 instance, network load balancer, application load balancer, and elastic IP addresses. So for example, you have one EC2 instance in um, Mumbai region and you're delivering one application by using that uh, EC2 instance. But you have customers across the globe or let's assume you have multiple web servers and you want to give a single point of contact and you want to deliver your application. So you can choose load balancer and um, you can add multiple web servers and you can deliver to all the users. But these resources, load balancer or EC2 instance is basically region specific resources. So uh, physically, these resources are going to create in Mumbai region. But let's assume you have customers across the globe and you really don't want to give any latency to all the 10 customers and you want to give some high availability options or you want to accelerate your applications and uh, immediately you want to add some resources and you want to remove some resources. So then we can use a service called AWS Global Accelerator. So in simple, we can increase the application utilization, we can reduce the latency for our application, and we can use it, uh, this Global Accelerator, for multi-region or multi-availability zone uh, uh, disaster uh, recoveries, and we can protect our application now from DDoS attacks also by using this global accelerator. So now I'm selecting that global accelerator here and I'm going to create one global accelerator. But before that, I already have a web server that is delivering a web page. So this is what the website it is delivering by using this particular public IP address. So you can even create a load balancer and you can use that load balancer also as an endpoint. So whenever you're creating this global accelerator, we're going to have some components, components like uh, static IP addresses. Amazon is going to give two static IP addresses. If you want to use your own static IP address, we can use BYOIP option, bring your own IP address option. And we are going to create an acceleration. And for this uh, global acceleration, we are going to get a DNS name. So something like uh, some random ID dot AWS global accelerator dot com is a DNS name you are going to get and we can add listeners, we can create endpoint or we can create endpoint groups and we can design like a one region or multiple regions you want to run this. So let's click on create accelerator. So I clicked on create accelerator and here what is the basic configuration? What is the accelerator name you want to give? So I'm going to call this as a demo accelerator. So then uh, you're creating this with IPv4? Yes, and what is IPv4 pool? So when you expand this, here you can see Amazon given pool of IP addresses. So as I mentioned, we can even get our uh, BYO IP, bring your own IP address also here. So as I do not have any pool, so I'm going with the static IP provided by Amazon. Then click on next. And here is a listeners. Here is a listeners. So we can add listeners here. So I want to listen on port number 80 and port number 443 by using TCP protocol here. And this client affinity, this is something like um, uh, sticky sessions. Whatever the request is coming from that particular client, if it is uh, delivered to this particular endpoint, so all traffic will stick to that particular endpoint only. So you can configure that uh, by using source IP address, whatever from what IP address the request is coming, you can give that or you can set it to none. So then click on next. Now, add the endpoint groups. So we have added end, uh, listeners here. Next, we need to give the endpoint groups. So now here, uh, in what region your all resources are running? So in my case, I have web server in Mumbai region. So I'm going to select AP South 1 here. So then um, if you have multiple um, 
resources in uh, multiple regions you can just go here for example you have one web server in episode 1a and you have another web server in episode uh, uh, i mean uh, us east uh, one so now you can define that and how much traffic you want to send here so i want to send uh, for example 50% of traffic to ap south 1 and 50% traffic to uh, this um, particular uh, us east 1 you can just give that and you can define numbers from um, 0 to 100 but i do not have any resource uh, so i'm going to give 100% traffic here then expand this what are the resources we have here this accelerator is going to perform health check with these resources if it is healthy then only it is going to send the traffic so let's scroll down so i'm going to perform health check on port number 80 and make sure this port is open on our security group so of course it is open that's why i am getting this website and what protocol you want to use to perform this health check you can select tcp or http and uh, do you want to perform health checks to any particular file yeah i want to perform health checks to index.html or you can simply give tcp also now health check intervals for every 30 minute 30 seconds you want to perform health check or for every 10 seconds you want to perform health check you can define that and the thresholds count if three continuous health checks got success then only it is going to treat this it is going to treat this uh, you know target as a healthy so i'm going to give that option here then click on next and um, these are the at end points so my all end points is um, in only one region and my end point is basically an easy to instance so if you have an application load balancer select this application load balancer and select that but i do not have any now so if you have network load balancer select that ec2 instance so i am going to select the ec2 instance and what is that ec2 instance so i am going to add that instance here and how much weight you want to send to this so basically we can configure from 0 to 255 and um, so just add these resources if you have uh, another web server in another region just click on add end point just select ec2 instance and here you can select all the resources so i have added here then click on uh, create accelerator now this acceleration creation is started and we can access these accelerator from any of the region so now it is in progress and uh, it is going to take some time so when i am going to click on this so it is going to tell us okay so the status and the health check status here of course it is going to take some time uh, uh, to complete this creation then automatically it is going to verify whether this ec2 instance is available on the port or not or health check is clearing or not so it is going to verify and here you can find that so of course uh, if you wait for some time these health checks are going to be clear and um, this is a dns name we got for this accelerator so once this change its status to active then we can test that output and here we got two elastic ip addresses or uh, public ip addresses given by uh, amazon web services so this is going to take 5 minutes so i'm going to pause this video once it is completed uh, we will test that output okay so here uh, the provisioning status got changed to deployed and um, the health checks also clearing here you can see it is showing uh, all as a healthy all listeners are uh, healthy so now uh, just go here and uh, try to access your application by using this dns name so you can just grab this dns name and you can get that so we are able to get it and this is my ec2 instance uh, uh, ip address so whenever you are trying to access this it is going to take um, uh, some time but uh, this one no it is going to um, deliver pretty quickly without any latencies so and uh, we got two uh, elastic ip address also right so by using this elastic ip address is also we can access our application see all these are delivering uh, the same website so so we can use this global accelerator to deliver uh, any of our website from our uh, ec2 instance or uh, uh, elastic ip address or elastic uh, uh, load balancer either it is a application load balancer or network load balancer so the advantage is less latency or low latency and uh, it even can protect our application from uh, ddos attacks and you can run your workloads from uh, different uh, regions or availability zones
Okay, again, once you're done with that, so if you want to delete this, so first you need to disable it. Whenever you're trying to delete, first it will ask us to disable the accelerator. So disable the accelerator first. So then uh, once it got uh, disabled, so here you need to write uh, delete option. So then this is going to delete. Okay, so that is all about uh, accelerator. And one quick thing to add here. So this accelerator will not come under free tire eligibility. So we are going to get charged 0.0025 dollars per hour. And based on the data transfer also, we are going to get charged. Okay, thanks for watching this guys.